So, as part of Bungie throwing some locations into the DCV come November, my friend Stan had hit me up again and asked if we could help him to get his character up to speed for Beyond Light. With that, I got a hold of Blue once again, and we proceeded to help Stan and get ready for the upcoming fall expansion. The best way to do that? The new Prophecy Dungeon. Needless to say, it was kinda... Now, the Prophecy Dungeon is a little different than the other two dungeons. The Shattered Throne is a gloomy, atmospheric run, while Pit of Heresy is a dark adventure through the hive-infested sections of the moon. Prophecy is basically a run through MTV's back catalog. This is definitely something you'd find in an old Duran Duran, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, or real life video circa 1985. So with that, let's get going through the 80s, the dungeon. The dungeon. See how many times we died. <laughs> oh, you want me to add a death meter to the next one? Maybe. Okay, I can add a death meter. Because you requested it, I can add a death meter. Wow, these guys are tough. Alright, I got dark modes. Alright, you got all the dark modes? Hold on. Yeah, I got dark. Okay, this is how it works. When you stand in the light, the borders of your screen become white, and you create light modes. When you're standing in the shadow, the borders of your screen become black, Shit! and you basically get killed. I got light modes. Yeah, I'm working. I'm working on a uh, light number two here. Ah, we screwed up. We should have hit, hit the what's the trick ball first. Right, that's light. I got light. There's light. I got it. Let me guess. Only the big guys give you the, the modes. Yeah. Correct. Oh come on. We got two light. Oh. Modes. Oh, bullshit. Oh. Dark modes just created him. There's some boats. Dark modes for sure. I assume if you die, you lose your boats. Yep. What's up, bitches? Go on ahead up the stairs behind us. You'll see him. Yeah, when you get up to get to the top, just stay there. Two very boring minutes later. If we're lucky, we can if finish this in one phase. If we're not lucky, this may take a while. Either. Also, try to stay grounded. They are they are very good at anti-air. Oh, and they well, will send your I'm ass over notes. the side. Like that? Yeah. What like the? That. <laughs> Thank you for flying the Arsenturian. Oh, come on! That's bullshit! Come on! Three hits, you're not killing me. I danced! I didn't even die, I just got knocked off. Seriously, how am I dead already? How? Ah, no. No, 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 no. No. No, I just die instantly. Seriously, that, that stupid flame attack is like taking half of my health off. Okay, dark modes, I got max. Well, oh, come on, you bastard. Oh, 
Alright, go, go, go. Wait! Throw the fuck out of on my ass. Shielded. God. There. Get it. Yes. Oh, geez. Thank God. One phase. Shield. Get behind my shield. Oh. This is gonna be one of those days, isn't it? Yes! I take cover, how are you? Take it to her. Dark, there we go. All the dark we need. Oh my god. Peace. <laughs> you 
sink the moats. Good. I'll notice the knights and the snipers are gone. I couldn't really tell. It's kind of dead. One hour later! We're not going to do yes. this with the weapons I have. I can't even kill the freaking snipers. I hit them like they do like minimal damage. It seems like the only alternative is to spend the week working on this. And if, and if he has stronger weapons, it should be easier because this is the only part where it's like they just keep dumping enemies left and right. Yeah, and it's going to so. only get worse when we get to the third boss. All right, I'll pull this out.